Hey kids. Okay, so today we're going to do a beach hut, like a little beach house, kind of on the water with a hammock and a surfboard. So fun. Okay, so for starters, we're going to add the roof because you can draw this in fully. Nothing's blocking it. And so I can put this here and then I can go over this in Sharpie so you can see it really well. And I'm going to give this a double line so you have lots to color in. These can be so colorful, right? Pink, blue, purple, yellow, orange, all on the same house, right? You just go to town. So let's put this in in Sharpie. And actually, I'm going to try to level it out a little bit. So let's have this line here. And then I'm going to fix this and make this come down a little bit there. And then there. I think this is better. Let me see it when it's in. And then let's erase this. Yeah, that'll work. All right, now I'm going to do the next couple of things in pencil. So I'm going to have some support beams coming down the sides of the house, and they are going to come in a little bit from the sides. Let's do one, two, three, four, like this. And then there's going to be a fence, like, um, you know, kind of around the porch here. And I'll be adding these. And then I'll clean this up a little bit. That'll all stop at the bottom. I'm going to have stairs. And I'll do one, two, let's do three. And then down here, for this underneath part, we can have that lattice. And then here, kind of up against the wall, I'm going to put a surfboard. You can put your surfboard wherever you want, but I'm just going to put it off to the side there. And that would block everything behind it. Okay, pretty cute. Let's put some of these in, in Sharpie. So I'll put in the surfboard. This post, this post, put this in, and this one. I'll have these connecting pieces for the fence. Um, deck fence? I don't really know what this thing is called. Porch fence? 
doesn't seem right, but let's see a little bit of that one. And then here across the bottom, they can all connect. And then we'll drop our first step, just two lines down. Make the next line longer. This is going to be like a whole little rectangle, but this part is longer. And then this is a rectangle down to the ground. Now you can add this part. And if you want, you know, yes, each of these would be a double line, but we don't have to get that fancy with it. You can double line it if you want to, but I am just going to do the single. Okay, now this was the porch. It's not really the house. Let's put the side of the house in here and the side of the house in here. And then we can have the door and we can see some of the windows maybe here and maybe a little window here. So I'll put the door in. And let's give it like a fun door. So let's do a rectangle here and here, and then a longer one here and here. This is just more fun stuff to color later. There and there, and then do a doorknob right there, if you can fit it there, and then a little door frame. Notice I'm really not too worried if these lines are straight. This is like a little, you know, beach hut bungalow. These aren't, you know, they're not always, you know, fresh and new. Sometimes they're kind of weathered and worn, and that makes them really great. So I'm just putting in some windows here. You don't see this whole window. And then I'll put some blinds in. Now, if you can see your whole window, fantastic. You don't need to go behind the post, but that's just kind of how mine worked out. Now I'm going to put a little window up here and also just some blinds, nothing fancy. If you want to give it shutters, you can. That could be really cute too, but it doesn't have to be too fancy. All right, now I'm going to erase these pencil lines and then I'm going to put in, um, let's do a hammock, something in the background and maybe some blowing palm trees right here. Okay, so for the hammock, I'm going to have this be ground, right? So I normally do this first, but about here is going to go from ground to ocean. And I might have a little mountain back here. So this is ground. So my hammock needs to sit on the ground. It doesn't have to be all, it's not blocked by the horizon line, like the hammock itself can float up over the horizon line, but what it rests on has to rest on the ground, so that post, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna make the, the bars of my hammock, like the two sides that it, that it um, is kind of propped up on. And then I can have these pieces that the hammock 
fabric is attached to. So let me put these in in Sharpie so you can see it. That's one kind of thin bar. There's another thin bar. And then this is fabric. And the piece of fabric hangs from here to here. So here to here, and then here to there. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna kind of bump into that, stop, and come up to there. And then this piece is only visible a little bit to there. Now, the two uh, metal pieces that hold this up are going to come from here down to the ground and here down to the ground that goes behind it let's make that come down a little bit further and then this has a bar here Now, if you want to make your hammock kind of, you know, hanging between two trees, you can totally do that too. Speaking of trees, let's put in a, like a pine tree, I'm sorry, a palm tree right here. So for the palm tree, you're going to have that flexible trunk, right? Kind of maybe make this one blowing in the wind a little bit. And then you can do this to it. And give it some fun texture and then for your palms you can have the palms be like pine needles if you want so this would be they're all just going in one direction that way I'm going to make that go right over the house and then this way. So really imagine that there's a center, right? And then from the center, down one side, they all come out this way towards the end. And then down the other side, they all go out that way towards the end. There's a center. They all go out that way towards the end and then they all go out that way towards the end. So I'll put in a couple more, but if they're blowing in the wind, I'll make them like that. What's nice about these beach scenes with the breeze is that there's nothing like, you know, bad about the wind here at the, on the side of the water. It would happen all the time. It would blow these um, palm trees back and forth. And that's actually why they're so flexible. They're built that way because this wind would be almost constant. Now I'm gonna put line here for the horizon where the ground meets the water but right to there and then maybe we'll have the top of the ocean right here now this can be beach if you want this can be land if you want you know maybe this is not exactly where it meets the water. Maybe this is like kind of the top of the side of a hill and then the water's down here. You could have mountains visible back here in the distance, like this is, you know, a beautiful little island. Back 
check there behind this house. And again, you can have so much fun coloring this in because these beach huts are so colorful. And you get to design the cool pattern and color on your surfboard. All right, kids, have fun with this. I'll talk to you soon.